Typically, paranormal tests don't confirm the paranormal. They suggest it, something which is not explained. A lot of this is down to things we don't fully understand yet, or things that were not accounted for when it comes down to the nature of the test. This can be poor controls, or the test itself doesn't account for other possibilities. And then afterwards, either the people who conduct the test or those individuals who wish to use the data for their own purposes interpret the results as supporting their belief, even though the results itself, at best, support the idea of something we don't yet understand. You may wish to say that a test, because it confirms as something beyond the normal, that's to say paranormal, that it means that your belief, which is a supernatural claim, or a series of supernatural claims, must be the case. But how do you reach that point? Even if we have an excellent test confirming that something so-called paranormal took place, something beyond our ability to explain, how does that suggest that your particular belief, such as a spiritualist or new age belief, is in fact the case? And if there are gaps in the test, or the types of controls you have in place, it makes the actual claim of something truly paranormal even more unlikely. And if we're talking about tests that cannot be replicated, or cannot be reliably replicated, what kind of information are we truly using to suggest that a paranormalist belief might be true? And since we have numerous tests, many of which don't actually confirm something beyond the normal when proper controls are in place, why should we presume that your belief is true because you have selected information used to try and support your belief system? Wouldn't that be very biased if we actually accepted ideas as being true Indeed, invested belief, faith, in those ideas, even if the evidence, or at least the vast majority of evidence, doesn't confirm and even rejects those claims.